Hi, do you wanna know how to shop handmade on Etsy, like truly handmade on Etsy? We're gonna cover it in this video. I'm also gonna do a screen share, meaning I'm gonna bring you to my computer and show you how to get the shopping done so it's truly handmade. But before we do, I wanna go over why Etsy is no longer, and hasn't been for many years, a truly handmade platform. And it doesn't mean it's a bad thing, I think it's just learning how to navigate the platform. So I've been on Etsy for 10 years now. I'm Rhonda with Hallstrom Home and Farmhouse Fair. Um, and I remember when Etsy came out and basically said, they're gonna allow handmade sellers like me uh, the opportunity to partner with people who could fulfill our orders. So for example, Let's say that you don't mind Willow. She just wants to be Insta famous, I guess. I'm just kidding. Anywho, um, so uh, let's just say you have a candle business and you're super busy, sales are exploding, and you're like, I can't keep up. Well, they've allowed us to um, contract out with people all, all over the world, whether it's India, China, um, here in the US where I'm from and it it's given the platform a bigger sell like more it's given them a, a platform to sell more and so but what's happened when they open that up like that it's also created kind of this wholesale to retail and I just want to be really upfront and tell you, I do both. So I started off completely handmade. Everything was from scratch. I was making aprons, um, pillows, all sorts of things just from the you know ground up. Um, but then I found that I could have somebody make me pillows and then I could just embroider on them. So now it's no longer 100% handmade. Does that matter? It's totally up to the buyer. And you're probably wondering, how do you navigate that? How do you know? How do you know that that coffee mug that has the cute saying on it that you really want, it says handmade, is it really truly handmade? Most of those are gonna be a wholesale, they, they probably bought them. Some people are actually buying them from the dollar store. And then they're putting their, um, their words on it with a machine and then selling it as handmade because anytime you take an item, let's say the coffee mug or the pillow cover that I embroider on and I change it in any way, it is now under Etsy guidelines considered handmade. And what you're like, well, that's kind of confusing because is it really handmade or is it not? Well, again, that's up to the buyer. Um, what I would highly recommend is if you wanna know truly is you're gonna look under the handmade section of that um, item. And I'll show you on the computer how you can tell so it's super easy. And then you're gonna wanna send um, a message to the seller and say, is this actually like handmade from scratch or are you adding to this item? So another example is um, some mirrors that I used to make years ago, um, we were like swamped with orders is um, we actually purchased the mirrors and then I custom painted and then my customers got to choose what colors that they wanted on their mirror. But yet that was still under the handmade category. And um, I mean, right or wrong, I, I think it's a great thing. Um, of course, I'm a seller. Um, but there was just no way that we would be able to produce a mirror like that. So it gave people the opportunity to get this style mirror and then get it in the colors that they wanted. And um, anyways, that fad has ended and, and we're on to different things. So um, I will pop over to the computer, show you how we're gonna make this so much easier for you and to ask the right kind of questions to a seller so that you're getting exactly what you're wanting. Hi, okay, so we're gonna go over how to shop Etsy handmade and we're gonna <clears throat> do this on the computer. So we're just gonna pretend I am a, is that right, pretend? I don't know if I really have to pretend. I'm gonna shop with you. And so that we can find something that's completely handmade. So we're gonna go in the search bar. Um, I have not signed into my account. It's just 
Etsy as it pulls up in Google search. So we're gonna look for baby blanket. <clears throat> okay, so we're just going here. We're gonna, you can see um, we have an estimated time. That might be something that you're concerned about. Maybe your baby's due really soon and you want it really quick. Um, so that will help. I'm not gonna click any of those. I'm gonna click right here to all filters. And the here's really cool because you can see like free shipping, on sale, personalized, but those aren't gonna pertain to me. I'm just looking for handmade. So I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you can see here we have all items, handmade and vintage, and we're gonna click handmade. Okay, but we don't really wanna stop there because as I was talking about earlier that um, we're gonna push apply. <clears throat> just because it says handmade doesn't mean it's completely handmade. So let's just take this first one for example. Um, you can see they have a lot of reviews, they're personalized, and we're just gonna click it open and see um, if it's handmade. And so I'm looking here on the right hand side, I still can't really tell, like, is it just because it's personalized? So let's keep scrolling and the biggest thing that you're gonna do for yourself is learn more about this item. The item description is really important. So it does say right here in the highlights, handmade, minky. But you guys know, like I talked about earlier, that she could just be buying this, um, you know, uh, wholesale, say from China, and then just, and I'm not saying she is, I, I don't know, and then putting this on there, or she is truly making these from scratch. So we're gonna, yeah, it's gonna take you some time. You're gonna have to read the item description. <clears throat> and she's just really talking more about the personalization. Let me scroll back up. Sorry, this is going so fast, but um, here, it actually it says, um, all of my 2B pers boutique personalized Miki baby blankets, it's like I can't talk here today, are handmade here in New York shop. Okay, so she's probably got employees. So that's really cool. If you want, you can tell right away. Now let's just say she didn't include that part and you're just reading the personalized, the size options. You're like, okay, so we're more into personalization. Um, what you can do is scroll down and it just says message the seller and depending on what shop it is. And you're just going to click this open. I'm going to have to sign in here, which I'm not going to do, but you want to create an account and now you don't have to, you can actually sign in as a guest. Um, but when you sign in as an account, it's easier to track any of, um, your purchase history, um, any of your saved items, let's just say you're scrolling around Etsy and you're like, oh my gosh, I love this item. You can save it into a folder and it's really gonna make it easier when you wanna come back. So you're gonna message this buyer and say, hey, I have a question. And of course, we wanna be as nice as possible because we're, nice gets us a little bit more in this life. Um, so we're gonna say, hey, Jennifer, I absolutely love your shop. Um, could you tell me, do you make these blankets from scratch? Um, I absolutely love what you're doing here. Um, I look forward to your response. And then she's going to get back to you. Some shops are really fast and some aren't, but because she is a best seller here on Etsy, I bet she's really fast at getting back to people. So you're going to use that for anything on here. Let's just, um, you know, look at uh, coffee mugs. And I don't want to take too much of your time because I think this really is kind of the key here is to go through and we're going to click the all filtered. We're going to go back down to the handmade. We're going to click apply. And you can see here, like they are probably not making these mugs themselves. Now this one, it looks like they could be, you're going to want to click open on this. <clears throat> and again, they'll tell you where they're from. It's just a matter of, um, looking at, see it says handmade, material, ceramic wood. You're gonna read your item description and it says uh, past ex inspection test from a local authority. Well, that sounds pretty cool. Um, I think they give a lot of detail. A lot of makers actually don't give that much detail in my opinion. Um, so that's basically what you're gonna do is check that Etsy handmade and 
ask any questions that you can think of to determine if it is truly handmade or if they're just adding, maybe they're just adding the stamp to the coffee mug and they are calling it handmade because at that point they are putting their handmade touch to an item that's already been made. So, and that's not a necessarily a bad thing. It's just if you're concerned with, um, you know, Etsy handmade from the ground up kind of thing. I hope you found that helpful. If it's not and you have any questions, be sure to leave in the comment section and one of us from Hallstrom Home will definitely get back to you because it's really, we want to just, oh, some of these words aren't so good on here. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. like, oh, okay. I think I got to get out of here. It's not the kind of things I like to be looking at. Oh, uh, like I have, you know, all these innocent eyes. Anyways, okay, sorry guys. Um, again, if you like this real raw, just honest opinions about Etsy, um, be sure to like and subscribe and leave any comments or questions. And um, thank you for being here.